Hello everyone and welcome to Tutorial Friday number 5. In today's episode we're going to talk about how to play with LeBlanc. I hope you enjoy the video. LeBlanc is a burst mage who can snipe off targets easily with her abilities. Hitting off your skills usually results in a quick kill. But how do you use your skills correctly as LeBlanc? That's where I am for. I will teach you how to correctly use your skills to destroy your targets. It requires a bit of practice, but it's worth your time. Let's start off by discussing her skills. Her Q shoots a projectile to your target. This is not a skill shot and therefore it is easy to hit. Hitting someone with your Q places a mark on your target for 3.5 seconds. This mark can then be activated by using another skill on your target. Activating your mark silences your target for 1.5 seconds and deals a significant amount of bonus damage on your target. It is best to always use your Q before using another skill in order to get the most damage out of it. Her W dashes you to a selected position, dealing damage to any nearby enemies. After using your W, you are able to teleport back to your initial position by pressing W again. This can only be done in the first 3 seconds after use. The skill does high damage and can be used to either initiate or escape a fight. Her E shoots a chain in a line which snaps to enemies. On hit, it will deal damage and it will stay on your enemy if you are close enough. If you go out of range, the chain breaks. However, if it doesn't break, you will snare your target after 1.5 seconds for a duration of 1.5 seconds. Landing your chain first allows you to pull off a perfect combo for free. With her ultimate, you will duplicate the last spell you've casted before pressing R. The duplicated spell deals more damage than the original spell. Her ultimate is the most beautiful skill of LeBlanc. It has a low cooldown and it allows for great plays because of all the possibilities. So, which skill do you have to level first? I usually level my Q first for maximum burst potential level 6. However, a lot of people like to level their W first for easier pushing. What I do is level my Q first, then W and then E. Now, let's go over to the items. LeBlanc skills best on magic penetration and ability power. I usually start off with a Dorn's Ring and two pots. On my first back, I try to get the Haunting Guys. This item gives ability power and magic penetration, plus it gives me some extra health to improve my survivability on the low levels. After that, I try to buy my items in this order. Firstly, a Deathfire Grasp, followed by a Void Staff. After that, I try to get a Revenant's Death Cap, and last but not least, a Zonia's Hourglass. Please remember, this is how I like to build my items on LeBlanc. If you have another build that works better for you, go ahead and build your own items. So having said how our skills work and which items you usually get, let's go over to some tips and tricks for LeBlanc. Landing your combos in the right order is essential for LeBlanc. Only then you will be able to one-shot people easily. It is best to start off with a chain, followed by a Q, R and W right after. This does the most damage by far because you use two marks in this combo. First you put a mark on them with your Q, then you proc your first mark with your ult and place another one, and then you do the finishing blow by using your W procking the last mark. When you get below 40% health, your passive will create a clone of yourself. Tricking your enemies with the clone can save your life in various situations. When you have a Deathfire Grasp, don't forget to use it. This item makes your burst 20% stronger and that is a lot of damage on LeBlanc. I have one shot Dr. Mundos previously thanks to my Deathfire Grasp. Activate your Deathfire Grasp first and then pull off a full combo. Harass the enemy laner with Q and W. Procking the mark of your Q deals great damage while your W deals great damage as well. Activate your W again and you will have no scratch while your enemy certainly does. That was it for this week's Tutorial Friday. If you liked the video, please press the like button below. This helps me greatly in growing my YouTube channel. And, if you're not subscribed already, go subscribe to get weekly tutorials about League of Legends.